What we're doing is, I'll take a look onto the maps from the summer campaign. 1 to 25. Try to give you tips, try to make a sort, sort, of, sort of tutorial, because the tutorials that I've seen on um, YouTube, they were not in-depth enough. I think there's some more things to talk about, some more basics that might be important um, to know and what you actually have to do. And that we also take a look onto the inputs and stuff like that. Um, so that's why uh, we are doing that. So um, let's do that. So um, you can see here, SD. We map a campaign now. Why should I? No, I'm not going to map a campaign. So you can already see here some uh, water shenanigans and then also an SD. Uh, but firstly, let's let's take a look. How is that going? How, what are they doing? How do they achieve this... Uh, Huge amount of speed. So start is very straightforward. You just go very tight around the corners. That is important here that you already set up very nicely for this turn combination. So you're steering very early to the left in order to get a good apex around this corner and like kind of exit like here that you're very, very close to the grass on this section. You want to angle your car a little bit because you are in proximity to speed slide. You see it here? Oh wait, the speed is bugged. Awesome. The speed is bugged. Great. The only important thing that is that is in there that I need to see is bugged. Why is it at 300? Did what the hell is happening? They're not at 600 speed. I just want to see the speed. So above 410, 420 speed, you can uh, do an uh, do a speed slide, and that's what you can do here. Um, you just hold that one and try to like stop steering just before that, and then also steer to the left and to the right with action key two, I think it was. So 40% steering, so that that you get a little bit of a speed boost. Um, the most important thing is here that you also want to minimize the distance travel on the water so um, that you uh, Go not diagonal, but quite straight forward into that then very important to um, To not oversteer here in that section because you're still affected by the uh, watery tires So you need to be very careful here, but also still need to manage to go around that corner very very tightly This can be very tricky and this is also very hard if you have a lot of speed in this corner so that's what you have to uh, take into consideration. Scrappy went a bit wide here. Actually, this uh, kind of helped him to get that uh, speed slide here. I think he still got that not like from the slope or like from, from the bank bankingness of this part. And also that he still has watery tires. And look at that, how much speed he got there in the end. Wow, very good approach from Scrappy and also a good water bounce there to secure that uh, fourth position. Um, so I think the, the SD at the start is not that hard compared to the second one because this one you need to enter with either an oversteer or just this 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 bank turn but the thing is you need to cancel that one as well because if you just continue that you would be somewhere here to the left because you want to avoid airtime here and then also you see it here um, maybe this is also very important for you as well here that you you can also get another small ST there maybe see it here a little bit that the, that the people are sliding there as well. So that is something uh, quite important to mention as well on this section. I mean, not sure if you can do that one intentionally, but it seemed very, very hard. But uh, the top players got some skid marks there, so just around that corner. They got a little bit more speed. Then here again, 40% steering on the water, so action key two, and then you have uh, your top five time. For all the metal, I think the only tip here really is the start. Um, that you go very th that you aim to get this corner here perfect and maybe just do a no set and go Yeah, not tight. I mean you can go tight But if you go tight you go very diagonal all over the water and with that lose a lot of speed In general you don't want to really steer too much on the water section and you want to steer very very careful around that section here That you don't drift the um, speed sites are more advanced on this map um, as well as the water bounces. I mean, if you're used to action keys, then it's fine. For me, it, it's not really it. But uh, I think in matchmaking, you just go um, kind of tight there. Maybe try to go for that SD there, because uh, you cannot really lose too much. I mean, someone even went super inside there. You can see it here, uh, Blue Jinx, and he still had a really good run. So that's what you have to do on map 01. So not that hard, but still quite advanced from uh, my understanding of this map. Let's go to the second map and see what we have there. Select all, confirm, edit, and see uh, what players have cooked on this one. So here we have a no slide on this map already at the start. Uh, but first, let's take a look onto the replays. 
to get that gear there. And then over jump there, get into fifth. You can also see Arizal here. He uh, hit the hit the penalty surface section, but uh, still got a lot of speed. But it snowballed a lot. So here, on this map, what is important on this one? Why is the music not there? By the way. So here, important to um, to set up nicely. You can't even go further outside here. This makes the no side pretty easy. Because this line, you tend to get airtime there, and airtime, of course, loses you a lot of speed. Then, you already start the nose that quite early onwards, and eat a little bit of the penalty surface. Then your car gears up. If your car gears up, you need to open up your steering again, which is really important, in order to not get a gear bug, and uh, with that slow down, because you have skid marks, right? You have skid marks here from the nose slide, and that's why... Um, that's why you need to open up the thing. You can see that here. People call it a quantum slide. For me, it's a no slide. Um, because that's what we have called it like 10 years ago already. And I think that's still a no slide here. Then you just be careful, you know, keep your keep your skids as close as possible together. Then you get gear 5, over jump this section. You go very, very late and jump there. And try to avoid as much from this uh, penalty section as possible. Then here, you can actually hit the penalty surface section because this turn, when I was hunting this map, felt very hard to anticipate because you have a very very like tight section afterwards where you also need to execute a no or like a no jump. So uh, what Arizal did there was kind of very very. They had a really good start actually, but you see how much he lost due to that. So if you want to sacrifice a bit of time, go over there. It's the safe approach. And just. Uh, yeah, try to get the ending there as well. The penalty section there doesn't really matter because you take the best line possible. Um, but on this map, it's important that you uh, snowball. And it gives you a good idea of how gears actually work. If you struggle with a no slide, then make sure to approach it a bit further from the right. Um, and go the penalty section at the start a bit more. That's what I do in matchmaking. It always gains me 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a second. It is not that hard to do. And the ending, just try to not get airtime there and also overjump the uh, penalty section accordingly like that. This is um, really important there as well. But I, you don't need the, uh, the no slide in order to obtain the AT medal. Uh, you, two second, you have two seconds to spare with compared to the world record. So just get, uh, just over jump the penalty section, consider gears a little bit and don't jump. So that's the map. Very, very cool map. Quite advanced map for the first uh, uh, couple of maps here as well. So uh, very, very cool map. I really like it. I hunted it a bit, but the no side is uh, definitely not too easy to do at the start. So that's my verdict on that. And also make sure to over jump that section. Okay. Let's go to map number three. Map number three it is. If you have any questions, guys, make sure to ask about the maps, but we just go go through every map. What's up, uh, Mr. Carp? So map 03 has another no side in here. And also a bit of a start, uh, start trick. Oh, you can hear a lot of different gears on this map. So uh, that is uh, very important to do as well. So uh, actually quite tricky map because the start already you have a, um, a minimization of airtime. So you just just go to the right, then steer to the left a little bit in order to uh, jump very smooth and early, as you can see here, very early into the slope. Just when it starts, like just when it starts to get like bearable, people try to land. Also not air braking there. You can see everyone kind of lands similarly. And then you can already go for Wiggle in order to, um, wait, wait, there you go. In order to get a good line there and also a bit of more RPM. Then you don't want to get up just yet. You can go for a no slide here. The no slide is quite hard because um, you need to consider the distance that you have to travel. You go wider with that with a no slide. And the... Uh, and also you get the gear. You can hear people gearing up. The thing is for this turn, in order to make the gear um, or hold the gear there as well, you need to be super far on the right side here as well. So um, 
If you're too inside, you just end up here or you oversteer too much that you lose your gear again. Because the gear really stacks up in the ending as well uh, for you to um, get the speed and you need to hold fourth gear on this map which is really important, and then the ending is just straightforward. You just uh, can wiggle there a little bit again to get some skid marks and uh, get some additional uh, speed and uh, enter the finish a bit earlier. So the nose slide is not really needed for the alpha metal, I would say, but I think you need to aim, you need to go for the apex and also need to consider that you can drop your gear if you're oversteering uh, too much. You can uh, drop into second gear, I think, if you don't do it good enough. But, I mean, people oversee a lot and they don't lose the gear, so I don't think that you can actually lose it. But here, you want to be very, very careful with losing the gear. But I think the most important factor is that you approach this uh, turn, the left turn, um, the left grass turn that comes after the no slide. That you approach this one from very far right and also just um, get a nice apex around the corner there. So I would approach it, if I don't do a no slide, I would approach it from... Somewhere like I would go a bit further to the to the left here, and then um, just just tap 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 and uh, do those things. But the no set is very hard, also with the gear afterwards, because if you are sliding with a gear, or when when a gear changes, you will lose a lot of speed. So that's not what you want to do. That is uh, super important. But everyone hell holds the gear here. Gaps are quite quite uh, close to each other. But I think this map is already uh, not max, but. Uh, People will have fun to hunt this one. Let me actually check what is... Uh, Hobbit has the world record with a 0.32. Then we have a 35 behind. 38. 38, 38. Okay, game. Okay. Well, not too bad. But a fun map. A fun map to hunt. If you have any questions, of course, about that one, just make sure to ask in the chat. But uh, the no site, you need uh, some... Uh, you need some practice for that one. Okay. Let's go to the next map. Map number 04. and see what uh, this one has to offer. So uh, this is a quite basic map. I think we're gonna talk about this one uh, um, only firmly. If you struggle with AT metal, one tip that I can give you is at the start, you can see the bobsleigh is uh, rounded, rounded on the edges. Just approach it, just go into the middle or you can just go for the full boosts as they're doing. You don't need to do it that much, but you just steer a bit to the left and then just try to just control your car accordingly. What they are doing is they go on the boost to catch all of this and then minimize airtime here to get a smooth landing and uh, just uh, maintain your speed for the ending and uh, just make it into the ending. So this map is quite basic. It's literally just one left turn at the start. That is a... Um, I'm not sure if that's an ice wheel. I'm not in the ice wheel community. But I think they're just angling their car to the... To, towards this section there that they don't have to steer on the ice. But yeah, I think it's an ice wiggle to get some more speed. But it's not really that much, like it's not that powerful anymore. But that's what you want to do. So very simple map, but uh, as, a, as a tip for me, I mean this one is not being played in matchmaking. Just try to minimize airtime at the start, uh, going onto the booster and minimize steering and try maybe to go for the ice wiggle. And also this line here seems quite right, all right to do. With the nose knife getting some more speed, that's the map. So this one is very basic, not gonna talk more about that, because uh, I think this is one of the <laughs> one of the worst maps from the campaign. Anyway, let's go into map number 05. 05. 05, one of the maps that I've hunted a bit. Let's see what this one has to offer. Very cool map. I really like this one. I, we already went through that a little bit. I think... Uh, there's some more to talk about. Oh, Scrappy, wow. Scrappy has so much speed in the end. Damn. Okay, so... This map. Important here at the start that you don't go full to the left here. Because your goal is just to minimize airtime, and you also want to uh, minimize the distance traveled. So that's why you don't go full left, you just stay, like, just there where you just don't get airtime. 
Then you want to steer to the right here with a quite, like, like early apex, I would say. Don't hit the apex like here. Because you want to also, like here, you want to be full outside. You can see here, there's hardly any uh, room between them and the road. Because if you go to the right, you can uh, jump here. And with that, you lose speed or you can go into a slide. You cannot slide here. You're below 410 speed. You cannot do an SD there. So this is not important. The importance on this map is that you enter or like just go very, very close here um, towards the sand as possible to again minimize the distance traveled with your car as well as here hit the boost as well then go diagonal over the uphill and enter this one very very close to the wall because the more you go up the more speed you lose then for this part here you of course are a bit you, you want to open up the steering a little bit and then like get some more left approach towards that because if you just fully commit to the turn and just fully tap to the left here uh, i mean this will probably not work because there's a straight coming up, but ju just to give you a, a concert or like just just a uh, point of view, you, your car would end up somewhere like here or like even further to the left. You need a bit of angle in order to work with it. Of course, the, the road straightens out as well, but uh, you also don't want to full steer to that. But your goal is to jump as close as possible towards the checkpoints and also towards this uh, scenery block that you can then land on the plastic and enter with a speed slide that you just hold all the way through you have a nice angle there and then go from the right to the middle to not get airtime and uh get into the finish very very tight map every kilometer per hour is important on this one it's very cool to hunt though also matchmaking it's not that hard to do i think uh, the only thing that you really have to consider is um to get uh, this line here across that you jump very tight and maybe try to go for an SD. I think one of the um, major mistakes that people are doing is going too close to that corner, even though this is pretty hard. And only look onto your skid marks, because in matchmaking, I sometimes was landing here on the right side, and I just lost a lot of speed and I had to respawn. I think, like, for the AT metal, for you just... Um, it, it's just important to uh, minimize airtime at the start, uh, not catch any airtime, let's say like that. Don't go too wide here, you know, go kind of tight around that corner and not catch airtime here. Don't hit the surface there as well. Catch all of the booster, go, yeah, kind of tight around that corner, doesn't have to be that tight. But um, I think it's also in the ending as well that you um, just don't get any airtime here and also here. That you just stay on the right. Or just do a small left-right when you go over the apex. Because you have reactor boost attached, your car can jump off. But that is just very important that you don't jump off in the ending. You can lose, I think, 500 of a second on this map. So um, that is important. So no SD here. That's not what you want to do. And make sure to catch all of the booster. Okay. Map number six. Confirm. Edits. Zack. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> also, guys, if you have any questions, you uh, can definitely ask them. Let's go into this map. This was a fun map. I also played this one a little bit. Let's spectate the world record, which is from Hobbits. So what he does. So we have a um, map that is mirrored, so you can either go left or right. I went for the right side. It felt a bit easier for me. They can see a uh, an SD. On this map. This eyesight is super tricky. Okay, so this map. On the start, what I realized is that if you just smooth steer you don't have gear problems so you still have a nose slide there i think it's like gear f like i think it's like like 20 30 percent steering so that's what i did in order to get a good downhill as well then you want to open up the steering for the gear and already start with the tapping because here you want to have an sd going up the hill you know hold it very very tight to do a small wiggle to not catch any air time. Don't hit the penalty surface there. You can over jump it. But you can see this car maybe has hit it a little bit. But maybe didn't wasn't affected by that too much. And now you get up into 5th. 
So now comes the important factor because you need to like consider, okay, how long will I go for the SSD that I'm doing there? Because you need to open up your steering once you go into fifth gear. So you could have seen it there. All the players did it very nicely. And someone even geared up very early, actually. Was it Zyron? Yeah, some people geared up quite early. But what's important is to go also very, very tight around that corner there. I think um, this one is also maybe considered in SD here. But I think uh, you just go for that anyway because you want to get a very smooth and uh, like controlled drift around that corner to get no airtime on this uphill as well. Then here. Approach super far from the right. This is very hard to control because you need to be super far on the left here as well in order to get a good approach around that corner. You can jump here a little bit, but uh, you don't want to really want to be as much on the... Like, you want to avoid being on the penalty surface for as long as possible. Let's say like that. So now, fully steer. Um, then readjust again and uh, some people might have slid out in the end, which can happen if you release or have a... To, um, or like too bad of a line in this way. Someone geared up quite early there. Who was that? Or maybe it was just the other car. This could have also been. But this is a very cool map also for matchmaking. It's already in this corner. Um, and also the ice light with that. Like sometimes like it feels very hard to control this part here because you either end up too far on the right or left and then your run is dead, right? It's very hard to control that and get that one. So, um, because you have to also then enter the ice, I need to full steer and need to avoid this, this section here and also enter the, or hit the finish quite early. This was my uh, nemesis on this map. So, um, that's what you have to do here. Important on this map is for me really to get the AT medals to uh, consider gears. So this gear here at the start, Gear number four and five, really important. Don't oversteer at the start. And also don't catch airtime in any of those corners. Like here, it's important to not catch airtime. And also in this corner here. You don't want to have airtime. Go diagonal over it. And then you have this corner here as well, which can be very hard to, um, to control. I think as a tip, you don't want to go all the way around. But you can eat more penalty surface. And maybe go a bit early onto that. And not go that direct to it. Maybe a bit more diagonal like this. That you slow down a bit more, but this should be enough. And then just uh, gradually go more and more like the world record that you approach more from the right or left side if you go from the other side. And uh, just get it across. So that's my tip towards you. The ice side, well, yeah, the ice side is also quite hard to do. Because that's really where you can lose a lot of time. But it's just about committing to the side. Um, you hardly slide out there. And the SD here at the start is just also feeling. And it uh, wasn't too hard for me once I played this map for a little bit. Because uh, you go, f you, you come from plastic. And that's why you already have uh, skid marks attached to your car. Okay, map 6 also in the books. Let's go to map 07. Select all, confirm. Salai Pizza, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Salami is salami, Talibert. We're not Kekona people. I think 07 is a map um, where you have a lot of... I struggled with this map a lot, actually, when I played it. Because uh, there's a lot of things where you can jump and just lose control. So on this map, I think it's just very important to... Um, Control the car, don't go too early or too late around or like on those corners. But um, I really struggled with it. So you can see here the lines and also the gear management. For me at the start, it's important to um, yeah jump into, like what I do, I jump into that one here as well. You can go for a wriggle, but you need to gear up before that turn here as well in order to make it. Then... Go early here. That's what I always did wrong. I went too late into this corner, was too far on the left side, and then didn't get this turn here correctly. This was uh, like my main problem on this map, as well as um, as this corner here. Because if you're too late here, like the whole run is in the mud. You know, you just 
cannot really exit this turn here correctly. Everything just falls apart. So you really need to control your car and get this one across. Also here, go super early into that turn that you get a lot of speed here, but you can see cars are jumping there. It is not easy to do that one, but uh, I think for AT hunting, what's really important on this map is that you don't bounce and don't bump and get that early fourth gear on this map. Like uh, here, this gear is super important. And then just stay early here. Don't catch too much airtime there. Get a smooth transition there. Don't go too early to the left. And uh, just steer to the right here and trust yourself in this way. Because uh, you can also bounce here on the left and right side. But if you get it correctly, you will not. You can see here, you can bounce there and you can also bounce here. And then you will just get dragged in. But you will bounce every here and there. But uh, the most important corner is actually this one here. This one is very important because this sets you up. Like you want to be super far on the left side here. Because this determines all your speed for the ending. You can see how far left they're going here. And then steer to the right here again. Don't want to bump there. You don't want to bump there. You can get, your, get a little bit of airtime here. But it's important that you don't end up somewhere here. Which always happened to me and I lost so much time there. This map is very, very hard to do. But then just wiggle a little bit a little bit in the end. And people geared up. But I think that's not that important. But yeah, I, I think this map is... Uh, this map is uh, really weird. I like the idea, though, on this one. But uh, the bumpiness makes it quite hard to uh, to do. And all hello, hello set, by the way. So, just uh, get the fourth gear. Don't bump too much and kind of get a feeling for the map. You know, maybe watch those lines again, see what they're doing. Maybe don't push them too much, but... General rule of thumb, try to stay somewhere in the middle. Stay a little bit in the middle. And then it should be all right. The wiggle is not required. And don't catch too much airtime there. Of course, careful steering. Don't oversteer. Don't lose that fourth gear that you need to hold up until the ending. Okay, 08. Easy tactic on 08 to get all the metal. We gotta come to that. If you struggle with the AT metal, I got you. Okay, 08. Simple map to obtain a AT metal. So people are doing the strats. What you can do here is you can just release You can just release here. I, I'm really gonna show that actually. I, I will play the map and show you what to do if you struggle to get AT metal. You can release just before here and land smooth in there. So let me actually do that one with keyboard. I'm really gonna show that to you. So if you struggle to get AT metal on this map, I got you covered. Yeah? Drive alone. Or you just go like that. You can even release a bit more like this. But you land smooth. And with that you also land smooth here. Suck. And then you just tap here. Like that. Don't air brake this one. Oh maybe I had a bit too little speed now. Because I released beforehand. Of course. They have 4 through effect. Wer kennt die nicht? And I also play with keyboard now so. You have to give that to me, yeah? But yeah, like this you land smooth. Like, that's what I meant. That's what I wanted. Also here. Can air brake maybe a bit later. Dude. As if the landing doesn't work now. Are you kidding me? Why doesn't it work now? Literally, when I did it for my friend, first try it worked. Or like, when I, when I showed it to him, when he asked for it. So like this. There you go. Finally. And then just survive the ending and you get no AT metal because I oversteered. Dude, for real now? <laughs> just go PF here. Release. Go like that. Zack. Get it smooth. Don't air break. Maybe you want to air break. <laughs> okay, you want to air break. Suck. So, you, you can. So, the world record doesn't air break because you may be a bit faster. But what you want to do is release here. Get this one smooth. 
Also for matchmaking. Oh wait, never mind. This map is not a matchmaking. Then air break here. Dude, you have to be kidding me. Like, no strat works for me. Come on. Just release. Sick. And go like that. This is even a good start. I play- Dude, first- First run with controller. So, how do I get AT metal on 08? I got you covered, guys. You just release here. Jump smooth in there. Get this one smooth as well. Air break. Steer bit here to set up for the turn. Or for the- for the straight. Then air break late. Get this one. And finish in style with a 21.8. So there you go. First, dude, I never play with keyboard again. So that's how you have to do it. Just release on that certain section. Yeah, thank you. That's why I don't play with uh, keyboards. Um, so we were at 08. So what the world record does on this map is a bit uh, different to what I've explained now. Because they actually go to the left. Why do they go to the left? You want to hit this in a very distinct angle. You don't want to oversteer it. But you get more speed if you hug the wall there with plastic. So you can see they full steer left. They get a no step as well. They get a lot of speed. It's like a, a slingshot there. And you just... You see how far they jump there. I was so, so slow. And you don't want to air brake here. Because I landed like somewhere here. And they don't air brake. Because they land smooth on that one. So that's always the rule of thumb. That you want to land flat on this part so that's why i um that's why i um i filled it then here you need to be careful to not get any penalties but the rule of thumb here at the start to get that one don't have too much angle align your car beforehand and you can also tap a bit to the right but you wanna hit the wall there as soon as possible to get your nose down and be in contact with the plastic all along you don't want to bounce or something like that so then you get a nose dive, you get a, a lot of speed, land smooth there. You can then tap to the right already here. Because you of course have to do a left turn be, uh, after that in the checkpoint. So that's why that's why the players do tap to the right here. Yeah, you can see there. They do tap to the right. Like that. Like that. And then go for a left tap again. In order to make it around the turn with a lot of speed. So the ending is a bit coin flippy, but after a couple of attempts you should figure it out how it works, what kind of approach you have, but go again, very diagonal. But for me this map, whew, it, it's fun, I would love to have this in matchmaking actually. But um, I think uh, there might be some fun uh, things why you should hunt that one. Anyway, let's go to the next map, map 9. Map 09. Edit. Okay, map that I hardly played, I got this in matchmaking, and I struggled, and I still struggle. I actually go for a drift there, or is that plastic? No, okay, no, it's plastic. So important on this map that you don't gear up into fifth. Um, on the, on this one plastic section there. Else you will have a lot of problems. Then here, go very, very late up. To get as much speed as possible, you can SD there as well. Just get good speed. So here the start, quite basic. You just set up for the turn. Go to the left. Then hold gear 4 here. You can gear down here if you oversteer and have a bad approach. But also then don't gear up into 5th. Because you can run into problems if you go too far up or something like that. That you will actually gear up into 5th on this part. You don't want to have that. You want to gear up here. Like, just before the drift on the booster. Then tap, tap brake. Get as much speed as possible. You can go for a different line there. We have seen uh, Foldy Brain, I think. And for a quite similar, or like, quite interesting line. And then go for an SD. I think this one is plastic here. You can see there, there's skid marks here. So, players do go for skid marks. Go for the early air brake to get as much speed as possible. 
But important on this map to get a T medal. I think it's um, really the uh, the drift that that you get the drift across. You can also see like how they exit the turn. They they are very far on the left side, and then gradually, and then gradually go to the right here in order to set up for the turn. And also thank you for the raids. Thank you, Ronix, for the raid. Welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you are doing great. Okay, so that's what you have there. Like, just be as far on the right as possible. But hello, everybody. How was the stream? Uh, we are currently analyzing the campaign and having some fun with the maps. So, oh, we've had a good one. Hello, hello. But very important to get as much speed as possible here. And a different line there. I want to see how uh, Hobbit does it. Not sure if he can get a zoop there in this this part. Maybe, maybe with a with a tactical air brake, you can get a zoop there and get more speed. What's important here on this map as well is uh, you can go a bit too early to the right. Yeah, that that's like a big problem on this map. You don't want to go too f early up here because uh, you can get more speed there like that so uh, that's what the players are doing there so that's why um, they're on top there so I think you can get a zoop there in the end um, just a tap break beforehand which is not that easy to do but it's all about the speed here and the alignment you can really push this corner a lot and get a lot of speed there and that's all she wrote on this map also, air brake, you can see here, he lost a bit of speed because he didn't air brake. You see it, you even see it. He's like on par with the first person and he didn't air brake? Look how much speed he lost. Like that, that's like quarter of a car length. Yeah, so, uh, hobbits? Yeah? Keep on practicing. Less speed. Yeah? Hobbit guy, aufpassen. Aufpassen here. So that's 09. Let's go to 10. She was good, played the game again for the first time in half a year and got the 25 ATs. Good job. Good job. Talo So we're currently analyzing the campaign and then we're probably gonna go into some matchmaking. Because why not? And we are at track 10, on track 10. Multilap. Very similar to, I think it was Winter. Or this. I'm not sure what map that was. Winter 2023? And we had a multi-lap map there as well. So similar, like pretty basic start. And then we have some uh, some no slides here, which you can opt for. You get more speed out of that one. So I think this this map is only like the bowl and the no slide. Bowl very important to not uh, like get a bad approach on, and also the. The no side is important, where you approach it and what you're doing there. And also that you get a lot of speed at the start. So important here is that you... Yeah, well, we're gonna come into that uh, in a second. So that's the map. Important at the start, of course, go tight because you have no speed. Uh, LT will lose a lot of time. You go here, you don't go too early on there, LT gonna bounce. Then you can go for an SD. Get the gear up just after the plastic. Do another uh, short uh, speed slide there. And then now the approach uh, comes into play. Arizil does do it differently than I, how would, uh, than how I would actually explain it. And I think the best line is being done by um, this guy. By Bosku. I will do it like this. If I go for a team medal, I will do it like this. Also, very nice car skin. Go very far from the right and just carefully go to the left. He also has a lot of speed. The no side is is not a must but i think it's better to do because you don't really have to release a lot on this section to get around that corner but uh, i think the rule of thumb here is that you just yeah well what can you actually aim for here i haven't hunted this map too much but i just want to be very far on the right side here and then just release and get around that corner you can hit this one there or the inside if you make a mistake but it's just about carefully 
like doing that turn, don't hit the penalty surface there as well and just get as much speed as possible and also be able to control this section here because this one is certainly not too easy. I think AT Metal on this map is not too hard. Um, with drifts, I was able to get it. With no slides, I you definitely are able to get it. So if you just go tight around the corner, um, um, consider the gear at the start and approach the bolts correctly. Um, that you don't go too early to the into the turn. That you don't that you're not too far to the left. You want to be quite far right, and then just go take it like a wall right, if this makes sense. So that's what I would do. That's what I would do here. And then don't oversteer on those sections. You can get an SD there as well. You have seen it there, but this is more advanced, of course. But that's what you can do uh, from the exit. But very messy uh, round still. Like the gaps are quite big still on this map. And another SD being done on this one. So you can do that in lap 2 and 3 to exit the plastic with an SD. SD drift. <laughs> so map 10. Not really my... Probably one of my least favorite maps of this campaign. Let's go to 11. Map 11. 11. After sneeze? Do I? No, I don't have to. Okay. Let's go for this map. We have no slides here at the start. And another no slide. This really reminds me of the one map where you had World Record for a brief moment, Talibird. Or did you actually have World Record? For a long time. So a lot of um, speed slides here and uh, also a bug set ending. This map looks a lot of fun. I might actually hunt this one. Because uh, this one seems fun. You have a tricky gear at the start here. This is that's what I figured out when I played this map. Because right at the right at the apex here, you have a gear where you have to open up your steering and then go into a no slide around this apple. You have reactor boost, so don't really worry too much about that. This no set here is not a must, but you get a lot of speed out of that one. And then, uh, of course, it snowballs uh, above this freewheel section that um, just ends with that. And then the bug set ending. The bug set is not really needed to get AT Metal. You can also just make a smooth trajectory. And the bug set in general is not that easy to do. Because uh, it all really is determined of how much speed you've had beforehand. But the most important factor here for the uh, Ultha Metal, I would say, is to get that gear clean. This one here. And then don't go too wide in this corner. You can also go over this one with a drift, but don't really, but don't really, um, don't really overdrift too much. You can really go for a no side there. This one is not really that important, I would say, to get a T medal. But of course, if you uh, want to go for World Accurate, you can uh, go for that one. And then, as I said, the ending, not really important. You can go for the no jump there. But the bug set is indeed faster. That's one of the tricks on this uh, on this map. <laughs> so open up your steering when you gear up. Else you will eat it. And what also could help is maybe to release. To get that gear a bit later. So that's something that you could do as well. That's something that you could do as well. You just release if you really struggle with that gear too much. Other than that, there's not really too much to it. Just minimize air time. Don't need the penalty service. Don't oversteer. Just like how you play dirt in general. Map 12. We're rushing through this one right now. Well, map 12. There you go. Very, very exciting map. Probably the best campaign map, Bad Chest. So much happening on this one. I think I need... Uh, I need three hours for this map. This entry is the only important thing here on this map. <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, this for me is by far the worst campaign map that was ever released. Mm. I don't like this map. Because only, it only has one checkpoint, so for matchmaking it's terrible. 
And uh, I think the most important factor on this map is um, the start. If you tap too early, you will be on the right side and you will go into the booster. So what you want to do is, you don't want to tap too early. So you want to go down here, yes, you can do it like them. But you can see they are getting dragged to the, to the left already there. So what you want to do is you can tap a bit later towards the right here if you struggle with the AT metal. Then steering is gold or like steering is not steering is gold. Let's say like that. The more you steer, the more speed you lose. So just go with the flow. Only tap if really needed. And if you like you need to exit this one like very close towards that corner. And uh, because you want to enter the bobsleigh accordingly. You enter the bobsleigh corner like that. So that's why they are so far here. Um, so close towards that corner and have such a huge angle towards the left. Because they tap a bit to the left, they go for the right approach and then just slingshot all the bobsleigh. And then for the ending, it's literally the same. Just tap as little as possible, but you have to tap sometimes. But it really depends how your angle is. But you can see some people don't even tap that much. Again, distance travel is important. You can go very tight. But you don't need to tap that much there. So very careful. Nothing to lose there. You're free wheeled. Just don't hit the things. And get a good entry into the bobstay. So very important to enter it like that. Like, don't be too early. Don't be too late. Try to enter it like this. For AT metal, just important that you survive, I think. I think the AT metal wasn't that hard. And that you get the bobstay somewhat correct. That you do a small left tap before going through the bobstay. Or a small right tap or whatever. That you just get between uh, the red lines or just in front or above the other red line. That is really important to get. And then just don't steer it too much. Control the car, don't be controlled by it. Okay, 13. Almost halfway through already. Not even one hour has elapsed. Okay, this map. Gear 5 at the start, important already. Are we gonna come into that in a second? I really like this map in matchmaking. This map is really cool. Oh, interesting line here from uh, that guy. From Lufok. This map is really good. Wow, Lufok got so much speed. Okay, so important here. And I think this also goes for all of the things. You can see some release shenanigans here at the start. People releasing to get a bit more speed. You can go for that. I'm not sure what the exact timing is. But I think it was like something around half a second or whatever that you can release in order to get more speed at the start. What's really important is that you find the right mixture to, um, with a booster and no booster. Because you don't want to get all the booster because then you will go too wide. What you need to do is to already sit to the left at the start. And then catch the booster like very, very firmly. Why you do that? Why do you catch so much of the booster? Because you gear up into fifth. If you go... With too little of the booster, you will gear up on the plastic. And what did we learn beforehand? If you gear up in a drift, or whilst being in a drift, and you of course have lower speed as well, you will lose speed. So what you're doing at the start is, you want to take every inch possible. That's why the players do go full to the left there, and then full steer right, you know, to get as much from the booster as possible and get into fifth gear. So you hold gear five. Then you have a jump section here. You can jump a little bit into a drift and then go very, very close there around the corner and accumulate as much speed as possible. This is, of course, a very, very aggressive line from Lufok. Let's maybe follow Hobbit. Maybe he has a bit of a more conservative line. Yes, he does. And then uh, jump into this turn. Here, important on this turn is you can go too early. You can clip there. You can also go too late and clip this one here. So you find to write a mixture of how you want to approach that. For me, the sweet spot was just like in the middle. Like just aim for this line here and then already angle your car a little bit in order to get it through. Then you tap, 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 get a good transition there. Just accumulate some speed and already approach this drift accordingly because you can Hello. you can do this drift quite nicely with the grass already beforehand. So you can oversteer here. That's what the players are doing there as well. And that's what I also did in matchmaking. That uh, I just went very tight and oversteer there to catch that booster here very early. 
You can catch all of that again. Kind of same principle as in the start. That you try to catch as much from the booster as possible. But in this case, you want to catch almost all of it. You can see this guy here. He lost a bit of speed due to that. But not too much, of course. Yeah, what a name, dude. I swallow glue. Nice try, man. Thanks for the follow. I do not swallow glue, though. Just wanted to, to say that. Thanks, glue, for the follow. Nice try. So here, the ending for me. What, hel what helped here is... Like, you can go for the ramp cut. You want to enter the finish as early as possible. But, of course, the, the problem is it's plastic. It's arbitrary, kind of. But just aiming like this... Right, who's the black car? I think that's Lufok again, the Hobbit. Hobbit's approach seemed very good. Like, he went a bit further up, went for a bit of a ramp cut, and then, boom, into the ending. But you can, I think, go for a bit of a ramp cut, because that's uh, how you also gain a bit of more time. For AT, I think the only important factor is that you get gear 5 at the start, as well as um, just get the racing lines across. I'm not sure what was the, um, what was the AT medal on 13, actually. Uh, 29 at uh, 31 so 1.5 seconds you have so that's quite a lot so get gear 5 at the start Get the speed don't oversteer and get the ending quite early. That's how you get a team metal on this map quite easily Okay, map 14 I hope you enjoy this content by the way guys. I hope you do enjoy it. That you learn one or two things from that. And you have some fun. Because uh, I will also upload... Actually, I will upload all 25 clips of that to my clip channel. And the whole VOD towards, um, towards uh, YouTube. So to my main channel. Yeah, it's a good map though. It's a very good map, 1, 6, 7. 13, one of the best campaign maps. I agree. Okay, so map 14. I think this was one of the first real skill check maps. Um, also, when I was in the call with Rupreet, he seemed to struggle a bit with this map. Because it's a full dirt map with some small tricks to that. You can already see the start here being a bit bumpy. You have a gear there. You have a reactor boost section there as well. Actually, Limpad is quite far behind. And then you have this penalty surface section. Oh, okay, and I see an interesting trick there already. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. I learned some new things on this map. And maybe... No, you cannot do no side there. Well, someone is in gear 5. Okay, never mind. I, I thought for a second that someone was in gear 5. Okay, so this map. A very tricky map. Let's just start from the ending, actually. And I think a big, like a big time consumer on this map is um, the end. Because, yeah. I mean, it's a quite cool risky. You're on penalty surface. That's why this turn feels maybe a bit more unnatural. But you want to approach. You can go very tight as they are doing that. What's really important is... And maybe you're gonna go into that one uh, in free camera. Um, you, you can lose so much time there on this ending section. Because you can see, you drive over scenery block, yeah? And what does it do with you if you're too far on the left or right side? Yes, you bump. General rule of thumb in Trackmania is to avoid air time as much as possible. So that's why players try to drive smoothly beneath it. This will probably not work for you in your first couple of attempts. This also took me a bit of time to figure out. I actually didn't hunt this map. Also this one. I could hunt this one. This is very fun. But you want to enter like a bit far on the... Further on the right side because of course your car is getting dragged a bit more to the left. Because you come from a right turn. Yeah. So that's just normal. But don't be too far on the left or right. Else you will just lose a lot of speed in the ending. You can really lose like half a second to a second there. So this is already very important for this map. That you just minimize airtime as much as possible in this like very unconventional but nice risky ending. I really like this one. I think not everyone is a fan of it. But this is important. This is very important to do. Again. See the approach there. 
You can bump a little bit. You can also jump a little bit, but don't be too far on the left or right side. Okay, this one out of the way. Let's move on to the next section, which is, um, well, I mean, just clean dirt driving, I would say. Let's start from, uh, from, uh, from this section. So just don't gear up into fifth. That's also really important. Then go smooth, smooth around that corner. Like, aim to go very close to this one here and get no airtime here. As well as, if, you, if you're brave enough, minimize airtime here to, or like, to reduce airtime. Don't get any airtime there. As well as here. And just clean dirt driving. You can actually get up into fifth, so that's why you have to open up your steering beforehand. But, um... This guy had a good ending here. Huitsu. I think that's Tris, right? He had a really good ending. Also, open up the steering for for fifth gear. So again, a very very good decision or very good decision making from Kuritsu. So very nicely done. Okay, let's talk about the rest from the map. The start. I've seen people approaching too far from the from the left. So that's uh, how you will you will end up too far on this section here or too far on the right. What you need to do is, unfortunately, you need to open up your steering. For the, uh, for the gear. This can be quite tricky, but you don't need to go as tight as them. Also here, that's like a very unconventional line. Maybe Limpan had it a bit better for reference. Yeah, he had it a bit better. So you can oversteer quite a bit, but the moment you oversteer and then open up again, you want to already make, uh, like do it a bit, uh, or just, just, uh, just no slide in there. So just leave the steering for a bit. And if you gear up, it is uh, completely fine for you to do. You can also eat the gear or you can just release a bit. That's also fine. But you don't need to go as tight as them. You can go a bit later into the turn. That is also fine for the AT Metal Hunt. But if you want to go for World Records, that's the line that you want to opt for. Then here, this one is uh, full speed. Very hard to nail. And now important, you go over penalty section. And what is faster than going over a penalty section? That's right, to bump a little bit and set up for the turn nicely. This not only gives you a very diagonal approach in this downhill section, but also gives you a bit of more speed. So everyone goes for the bump there and gets a very, very good left-ish approach around that corner. Goes into fourth gear and then this section here. Oof. This one was very hard for me because I usually stayed in the middle. You can bounce with your right tire like that. Get as much speed as possible. I think the others are doing that as well. Let's spectate Sapi. Who was leading. He also bounces with his right tire. Right rear tire. With that. But this one is quite tricky to do. So you can also just not go for that. I think for AT Metal this should be fine. But just the racing lines are important here. And especially the ending and the start. If you want to obtain AT Metal. Very nice map. And let's go to 15, and then I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. Let's go, let's go. Okay, 15. This is a very nice map, I really like this one. Um, quick, quick side note. Quick side note on this map, if you want to go for a team metal, it's also enough if you go to the left. This right approach is is quite hard. It saves, I think, point 0.2 or point 0.3. We've all seen a bug side approach here. I know that. Um, I think there was a YouTube video of that. Of that. It's not worth it. Like, of course you can go for that if you go for World Record. But the rule of thumb here, if you want to obtain a team metal and if you play this match in matchmaking, a uh, map in matchmaking, Go for the left approach, that's what I do. If you're comfortable, go for the right approach for this booster. And try to get a good drift here. And uh, jump into this uh, this slide here as well. That's what I did. Scrappy did this line that I also would have done. Um, jump into the drift here. And catch airtime. You don't want to no jump, that's what I did at the start. But you can get a lot of speed. Whilst, or by not going for a um, no jump. Then here, minimize airtime, and then just YOLO BOLO through that section. This one felt very hard for me. I always lo lost control, like, I did this one here nicely, but maybe too good. 
but this section here, like this this part here, is very very hard to do. Uh, because you can, or you go so close there around that corner. Just look at that, what Asteri is doing. And also, I think this is uh, Hugo, right? And Haskell. And then also Neil did that as well. Hi, Neil. So that is very hard to do as well. Because you can easily lose control. If you struggle with that one, make sure to release. It is not, it's not bad if you release or whatever. That is completely fine. This line is very hard to do. Then here, very important to not tilt your car too much because if you tilt your car and maybe land here on the left or right side you will just slow down and slowing down before that section is detrimental this is very very lethal it is lethal for you but what you want to do is you want to be on the right side it can be quite iffy in cam one so uh, that's why this turn is like a leap of faith it the timing is so hard but also releasing here is not not something to be ashamed of let's say like that then another, like some SDs in the end, we're gonna go to that section in a second again. Then here you go from the left to the right, because if you go right, if you go right approach here, you will have hardly any speed and a bad approach for this corner. So that's why you need to stay on the left side to make that speed check. This ending is not too hard. You can definitely fail it, but this should not be the reason why you fail it. So here again, let's go into the ending real quick before going to the most crucial section of the map. Go, stay on the left here. Then you can go like scrappy, can even like jump a bit more to the right, like that you land smooth in that section, because you can see again, it's quite risky to do that, to just minimize even more airtime and then make the jump like that. Very important, like for matchmaking, I have seen so many people failing that even in gold Elo, which I'm at right now, but we're also gonna play some matchmaking after that, that it's like, yeah, it's unbearable. You shouldn't, this should not be a failure of your run. And if you notice, oh, I have too little speed, just go for the safe approach. That's also fine. And also to Shmanio. Great job at the uh, video. I really liked it. Especially the Christina party. Holy fuck. It was uh, insane. Okay, so here, I think most common mistakes are that you are too far on the left or right side and your car tilts too much or that you miss the road. Because the reactor boost ends here. Yeah, you don't get a zoop or anything. Um, if you if you tilt too much, you are dead. Scrappy almost tilted too much. You can see how much, like, how tilted his car is there. Yeah, so he was lucky that he had a really good approach to, due to that. But you can also see the entry into the slalom here. The left, right, left, right. Yeah? This is a very, very precise section and requires a lot of practice. I really struggled with it, but the more re you release, the more it will snowball. Because you have an uphill, you have penalty surface, and every kilometer per hour snowballs more and more. A crash even more, so releasing is fine. Then you have an out, outside approach. Also not too, not too uh, easy to do, but uh, you just need to do a leap of faith. But I think uh, that this one is uh, a quite hard map for a uh, for a uh, blue map. But I really like this one. For a T metal, again, quest for a T here. Go left approach. Get that drift here. Don't release too much if you wanna like don't don't go for the no jump in this section here, in this one. Uh, get a good entry here. Try to get hardly any airtime here. And also release accordingly if you feel uncomfortable with this jump. Because you can lose a lot of speed there. Try to not tilt your car as much as uh, possible. Get a good uphill line. Try to control the car beforehand. And then don't crash the ending and go for a good line by approaching the uh, sausage from the left side. This is really important that you go from the left side, not from the right side. Whitaker, just push all of those things. Just try to go as close to the walls as possible and go for the approach here. And uh, just yolo ball the uphill or the... Um, other section. Very cool map though. Very, very cool map. But yeah, I agree. This one uh, was indeed uh, a very weird one. I agree. But how did you pronounce the name Coons? Like Coen. Coens. Coons. Should have pronounced it Coons. So, map 16. 10 more maps to go. 
Already interesting start on this one. When was the last time you've heard something from Herr Schmaniel, actually? From Christina guy. Because we actually did some uh, research on my ch in my stream. Because she was around here quite a lot. And I know that I heard her on Insta as well, but she didn't post anymore or whatever. Yeah, she was indeed very weird. Anyway. Let's go to this map. Red and black tracks now coming up. Very cool map. Mm, I think this one is uh, like quite simple due to racing lines. Christina unfollowed me on Instagram. I think she deleted, right? Wait, really? So here at the start, you can go for a left tap and no air brake to get your car bu bumping up. Like you can see a right left there. Or just a left tap to get your nose down. With the nose down, you get earlier ground contact and some more speed. You don't need to do that for a T metal. Um, what was AT on this map again? I think this one was also not too easy um, on 16. 43.6 is uh, the world record, so two seconds off of it. Okay, I, I will do so after the stream. So here what's... Um, what's important here is that you um, get as much speed as possible and uh, only tap break here. Tap breaking is enough at the start. Yeah, that's enough. And then um, don't get airtime here. This can happen. But just try to overjump that penalty section. You don't need to go full from the left as they're doing if you want to get AT metal. I think somewhere like from here is also fine because then you can also jump into the turn, um, which is uh, quite uh, hard to do. Then do f do this turn full speed. Like just after that uh, tap drift here, of course. Do it full speed and set up for this turn here as well. What's important here is that you need to anticipate this small gap here. You need to anticipate that. And uh, on the other hand, also get as much speed as possible. Yeah? Then the slalom, of course, gets harder. But it's not, like, uncontrollable. So that's what you need to do there. Then go for another very tight drift. And, um, yeah, that's the map. I mean, this one is not that hard, actually. The drifts are just very blind. And also the ending is just straightforward. Just get a very, very outside line. Or, like, just go outside and get a good drift. Like that and get an early apex but i think um what really is the make it or break it is the start here this jump because you can jump into a drift and you can get a lot of speed but also this drift here where you do gear down but you need to get as much speed as possible before the slalom and then the blind drift here um in this section this still requires some practice because if you go too inside here you bump and you don't want to bump this guy had an insane line. Is that Hobbit? Yeah, Hobbit. Let's take a look at Hobbit's line. He had a lot of speed there beforehand, but also... A very good line there. Wow, didn't even bump. If he went a bit more inside, he would have bumped. But Hobbit with a very, very good ending. And gets uh, that world record across. It's a good time there from Hobbit. Very good time. Yeah, but I also had my weird, uh, my fair bit with uh, Christina. Okay, next round, next map, I mean. It is map 17. Full, full speed map, kind of. Full speeder. Minimize airtime at the start. Wide line important because we want to get an SD on the on the grass here. If we go too tight, the turn will be very hard. So that's why you go very wide there at the start. Then here, minimize airtime. Don't jump. Don't jump. And tap, 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 tap. Don't jump again. And then the ending there. I think that was even a trick here where you just go up and get a get a small zoop. So that's kind of cool, but I think this map is also quite simple to do. At the start, you go a bit diagonal. You don't need to do that, but it sets you up nicely for this left turn. And also make sure to not jump here. You can go too far to the right. You don't want to jump. You want to use every 
like every kilometer possible and um, try to not go very inside here you want to head a very very late apex not that late i mean if you just go for at it's also fine if you just oversteer this section but what they are doing and that's why i try to explain it is they already go for an sd in this corner if you go to inside you will either have to release or you have to oversteer and we'll end up somewhere here and then being like here on the left again so that's why they go like that so then you firmly tap Set up for the slice, you go tight again, hit that booster early, then get no airtime here. Go very far to the right as well to not catch airtime. That's what you should do when you get your when you are when you are on your AT run as well. And just get a good section around that Lubick as well. Don't go too early. Because then you will hit this one. And just uh just stay on the ground. You know, go to the right, then go a bit to the left to not catch airtime. And then the ending here. You can go a bit more to the left. You don't need to do this approach. This one is really hard. You get more speed. You can try your best, but I would not recommend to do that. So that is uh, this map here. Quite tricky. Really uh, gives you a feeling why um, it's important to uh, not oversteer in the first corner. Because every kilometer per hour does stack up at the end. So you probably lose like 0.5 of a second if you do that. Yeah. And also here, catching airtime. Not a, not like really important to not do that. So let's see here. Don't oversteer. Don't hit anything. Don't catch airtime. Suck. And that's the map. So AT metal, just get a clean run through. Try to control the car on the grass section. And try to get as much speed as possible in all of those corners. And not catch airtime due to that. Okay, I'll be crazy on the toilet. We go to map 18 in a second. We still have uh, some more maps to talk about. I'll be right back. Um, I can send you the video. I can send you the video. It's the iceberg. Can, uh, can send that to you. Wait a second. Uh... It's at, uh, 26 uh, minutes 40. It's the Monzi points. It's quite weird. Okay, but let's go to the next map. Let's go to um, map 18 it is. Okay, so here you have a... Oh my god, this map. I think we need to take a look onto this one in... Um, in... Um, here. Solo. Then uh, track campaign and then go to 18 here. 
Love you. Thank you, Dita. Love you as well, mates. So, let's take a look onto the world records here, because um, I think inputs are quite important. So you can see a very precise air brake timing at the start, because with that, if you want to go for the world records, you can get this bug slide and with that, uh, skip the uh, reset. And you can do another bug slide here. Wow, he had so much speed there. And then just hold it there. Important is to hold gear 5. Um, bug sets are quite... Those bug sets are quite hard to do. But this air brake here, you can see like the timing. It's like at around 4.7 seconds. No, even a bit earlier. No, later, I mean. 4.9 seconds, you want to air brake there. And then... At 9 seconds, you want to steer. And then you get the, the approach. This approach is not easy, and you can also see that he does tap. Um... His, uh, his, um, his accelerator, you know, to hold the bug sight and make it a bit wider as well as here. Uh, actually, he doesn't do that there, but he gets a really good exit. And also, maybe one more thing about the exit on this one. You can see him. Firstly, like, releasing, and then, like, releasing the um, left, left accelerator, or, like, left direction, and then steering to the right, and then releasing the brake. That's like very important to do. This this trick, I couldn't really find any consistency with it. I think if you want to get AT medal, this one didn't seem that hard. Um, you know, maybe I could just show you my AT run. Um, and see what I have done. So I literally just tried to air brake there as well. And you don't need to do that, but make sure to just steer right just beforehand. And try to get an okay line throughout those corners. Like, that's what I have done. Like, not nothing special, nothing crazy. Don't try to overdrift here. Get a good entry into this corner. That is that is very important. I think that's where you can lose a lot of speed. And also, if you, start, if you have struggles with the ending, make sure to straighten out your car beforehand. Because if you're not straight in that corner, you have to, like, readjust like I had to do. So, very important to uh, do that kind of stuff. Uh, but overall, this is just a uh, tricky map with a nice trick. But I don't think... That this should be any black, uh, any red map. Yeah, this one is uh, quite basic in this regard. Anyway, let's go back uh, to 19. I'm not gonna analyze anything there, so let's just let's just go to the next map. 19. Edits. Full speeders. Full speed map, and I see Ender in here as well. So Ender cooking the campaign a little bit. And has a good time here. So you have an SD at the start. And uh, there's one very awkward section on this map that, that I would really like to talk about. Because this one... Made me hate this map a little bit. And it's this section here. This section was so hard to nail for me. Because it was so important for the map. As well as all the no jumps here. But we're gonna talk about that in a second. Oh, this guy jumped so far. And you can see how much speed he lost. Um, compared to the others. The risky is not that hard. You can get an SD there. And unfortunately missed it. Um, but I think for AT. Um, you don't really need to go for... Um, let, let me check. What is, what is the AT medal on this map? Um, it's map 19. Um, it's a 48, so it's uh, two seconds off of the world record. I think what you have to do is, like, you can go for a no set at the start. The SD is not that easy, but on full speed, of course, it's important to get as much speed as possible. And if you get it in the start, it just snowballs up so much. What you definitely have to do is get those lines in correctly. Don't go too early here. LT will bump. And maybe go for this SD here. Um, but also here, very important. You need, you don't need to SD this corner because you will lose a lot of time there if you do so. You can go for an S4D or just an SD at the end there as Ander has done it. You got, got some time, but then of course this part here will be insanely difficult. This one here was for me, you in camp 3 here. So let's just actually go into the internal view. Let's go into the internal camera because that is your view of this corner. Like, not like, not as early as this, but you have no real key when to aim for. So, 
What Ender just did there is very smart because he went very, very late. Like, he used the reactor to stick onto the wall and exit it very late. That he has time to readjust, but you can see how late he still sees it. So this requires some muscle memory to do. Because if you don't know where to go, you will lose a lot of time. Yeah. And I think that uh, this one is really, really hard. Like, for me, this was one of the hardest sections of the, of the campaign. Because this really determines all of your speed for the ending. And uh, you need to require some practice, but you don't want to oversee this corner either. You don't want to hit the checkpoint either. You don't want to hit the inside either. You don't want to be too far on the outside. So there are so many factors that this one really is, uh, yeah, like pulling into consideration that you really want to um, just uh, get a feeling for it. Maybe just double or just respawn and try to get a feeling for that corner because you also should not catch any airtime here. You shouldn't catch any airtime there as well and also minimize airtime in this corner here. This guy over jumped it. You can also go for an SD there but it's just all about surviving the ending. There are some other lines that people have taken or, and but I think in the end it doesn't really matter too much in this case. Yeah, you can see one person going a bit more inside, one person going a bit more outside, someone going for an SD for the most optimal line there. It's a very close fight in the end, but it's just all about surviving. I'm not a full speed expert. There's probably a perfect line to take. This line looked good for the ending, like in this way, uh, because he just had hardly any airtime and uh, also went for an SD there. So uh, that is uh, not too not too bad in this case. So this is one of the harder AT medals on this map. What are what am I on this map? I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's still my AT run. Uh, I can check for you. Um, nah, I'm top 3K only, but I can definitely improve that. I mean, I play I played the game for 14 and a half years, so I think I have. Uh, a bit of knowledge, I only hunted two maps so far, 24 and 20. Uh, but I think I can definitely improve here. Because I also went for the start SD and it's not that important. But what I also did in my run um, is... I, I we, we can maybe analyze this run as well. Maybe this helps you as well to analyze my like 2.2k run here. So that's not too good. Let's see what, um, what I have done wrong. Because I obviously lost some time. Yeah, I went for the start SD, I oversteered a lot, so this was already losing me a lot of speed. And as I said beforehand, every speed matters. Like, every kilometer per hour matters. Also here, I oversteered on this section, went way too wide in this corner. And um, I think what I did correct here is that I drift cancelled, yeah, but I oversteered already beforehand. So I lost a lot of speed again. I went far, I went quite far up here. So that's why um, I didn't get any airtime here. So that's what got me the AT medal, but also this part here was pretty bad. To be honest, like I jumped here. Yeah, I I, I should have uh, gone down a bit uh, better. Also here I jumped. Wow, this run is so bad actually. Then SD there, oversteering as well. This run is not it. <laughs> I'll be quite honest with you. This run is not it. So, you you don't have to go for the um, for the SD at the start. Um, you should have a better line around this corner here as well. Like, I definitely did this wrong wrong. Like here, I was uh, way too far. I should have steered earlier to the left. And also here, I don't want to oversteer. Because I, I had still had skid marks, so... Um, I just want to have a nose slide. This part here was the only good part of my run. But then everything went downhill here with catching some airtime. But even like that, you can get AT metal. It wasn't the best run. Also here, way too early of an exit. And here as well, I uh, I was way too far. Like I should have been, I should have been more on the right side here. I should have exited, should have exited more on the right side. Yeah, because uh, like that, it's not how you. That's not how you really wanna take that one. And also to Luton. What's up, man? So that's the map, map 90. I hope that this uh, helped you a little bit to see my replay as well and talk about what I did wrong. Yeah, because I'm far from being perfect. I did this run in like maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes. And now we have this map. One of my better maps, one of the maps that I have a bit of a deeper understanding with. And let's take a look how people are doing that. Left side is faster. I always went right side. Maybe there's a new uh, approach here. 
um, on this map. But, I mean, it makes sense that I always went right. Wow. So this landing is really hard because you usually get penalized with that. Okay, so I have, I think, a sub-33 on this map. AT metal. Don't do, don't use the, the ramp cut here. Don't do that. You can go either go left or right. Um, if you do the ramp cut, one thing that can happen is you can't be too fast. You can hit the ding spooms there. You can hit the booster on top. So that's why they jump diagonal. Not only to skip this part here, but also because they're too fast. Yeah. So that's why they do that. You have a lot of speed here. The, the formula here is, you want to jump into the middle. The more speed you have, the less of the boost you catch. So, the lesser you have to release. The less speed you have, the more of the boost you catch, the more you have to release. So it's actually punishing for you to go slow. Makes sense, right? So that's why you also don't air brake. Because if you air brake, you land earlier, so you catch more of the booster, and you don't want to catch the booster, because you need to release in order to jump through the checkpoint. Now the leap of faith comes into play, and also by far the hardest part of the map. The start, okay, yeah, it's precision, all right, everything is good. Yeah, you have this uh, very, very awkward um, ramp cut that I actually didn't talk about, uh, but this one is also requires a lot of precision. I'm doing it from the right side. Um, I need to cut very short, and you can see you can see the, the gap that you have. You have this part as a gap, and then also this landing here. So it's very, 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 very thin. So you don't need to do this cut to get a T-Metal. And also then here we have uh, this part, which you can do full speed. You can see how insanely close they are towards the corner. And um, with that, also just accumulating as much speed as possible. When you do this one full speed, of course, it will be hard to adjust your car because at some point you have to straighten it out because you go straight, yeah? So you need to be fully straight. You cannot, like the, the tactic here is not air braking to over jump this reverse booster here. It's pretty hard. What I did is I insta air braked. In my run it was top 100. I uh, tried to control a little bit so that I didn't stay beforehand, but this is of course the world record line. They get a lot of speed, they don't get penalized, jump a bit diagonal here, catch all the boost, and then you can release for the ending jump to get uh, into the ending. Yeah, you don't need to jump diagonal, that's not what you need. And also in this section here, that's what I also did wrong. You don't, yeah, like if you don't have the speed that they have, you hardly have to release. It's also a bit feeling, but you hardly have to release. So for a team battle, don't go for the ramp cut here. Try to release accordingly in this section here, like in this jump. And you can also release in this corner here if you want to get AT metal. Um, then insta air brake. Don't do what they are doing. Don't try this at home. Jump into the middle. Jump a bit to the left here. Yeah. And then just jump into the ending with a bit of a release. Yeah, that's what you that's what you should do. So quite a simple map. For hunting, it's very tedious due to the start. It's very hard to do, and also just uh, estimating, okay, I have to go a bit further to the right, further to the left, I have to jump like this, like that, yada, 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 it's not that easy. But a diagonal approach really helps here, but you can jump very close to the checkpoint there. Very cool map though, but uh, very hard to play. Okay, map 21. Let's go uh, into the last five maps, let's tackle them. And see what that's about. So we have speed tech. I think this is also the hardest AT of the campaign. Um, good luck if you're going for this one. I mean, uh, AT is uh, only two seconds off of the world record, which is right now from Thompson, and the world record is insane. So I hope uh, to get you through that one. Oh, Urix has an interesting start line actually. Accumulated low speed. So it's a speed tag map. Um, on this one, what you need to get, or like almost certainly need to get, is to hold that gear in this corner here. This AT metal is really hard, like for real. This is uh, not an easy AT metal. I struggled with this one as well. Um, I think it took me like 30, 40 minutes, if not even more, uh, especially due to this stupid ending section. This ending is so bullshit. 
for me. I couldn't see a consistent approach. So for me, it just was praying. I could just uh, see what the world record does. Let me also check what uh, uh, Baibak does in this corner here. So you also go super low. So you can jump like that. That's the risky line. That's uh, first you talk about the ending. But you can also go a bit higher into the bowl and just get a clean transition somewhere further up. So you want to enter the bowl like this, but you can be more here. But not too much, but you can exit the bowl like here, somewhere there. Yeah, that's also fine. Then you just align your car, but they just have a way better line here. Ama has a good line here as well in the ending. I kind of like that. Just gathering up a lot of speed and coming very, very, very close actually to Thompson. But this map is all about holding your speed. Minimizing airtime at the start, I think that's a no-brainer if you have proceeded so far and your ambition is to get 18 medal on this map. This is not easy. This is really one of the hardest 18 medals ever. Here important, you have reactor boost, you can go a bit further on the on the left, but then just get a good apex in this corner as well. Try to tap break. And also here, get as much speed as possible. Then here, like what ha what happened to me all the time in this corner here is, and maybe we can jump more into the fight. Um, let's go with uh, this guy. Um, you always you tend to auto slide. If you if you full steer this corner, you can auto slide. So I think you can <coughs> you can stop steering there for a small second in order to get as much speed as possible. That is is it is it that what they're doing? Yeah, they you could have you could have seen it there. They're just going slow mo. And look at this guy. Look at Bivak. Look at his approach. Zack. Canceling the steering to not get catch skid marks. This guy got skid marks. And you can see how much slower it is. His angle is so far on the left due to that. This is very advanced, of course. This is very advanced. But it caught, got him some time. You can see it. He catches up. Gets a better angle for this turn as well. So that's uh, maybe something to consider. It's hard to control because you have more speed, but uh, what was for me the do or die is this corner here. Important is that you go, like, this turn here is, like, of course, you can drift or not, just be somewhat around here, that is fine, or like here or whatever, like maybe like this, that you get around this turn, yeah? Now important is that you get a quite late apex here, a bit like Ama, I really like Ama's approach here. Like that, you can even go tighter there. But go super far here to the right. Super far to the right. And then you need to go super close there to this uh, um, to this post here as well. In order to hold 5th gear. 5th gear, you don't really need it for AT metal. But it makes it a lot easier due to the ending where you can really lose time. Yeah? I figured it out that you don't need it. So don't insta DNF if you don't get the 5th gear. And also here, I think this corner can be done full speed. I think Thompson did it full speed. Let me check. Maybe tap break. I don't know, but you, you can... I think he did full speed, right? But you, you can also tap break there for a bit of, little bit more of control because you can see Thompson has hardly any room to work with because the turn already starts that early in there. And then this bowl. Just approach... Like, try to go with the flow. Try to take it as a wall right. But don't go too low. Don't go too high. It's like really trying it out. Trial and error. Those lines are insane. Thompson's ending is just... Something else, but Ama had good speed. Ama's line is also really, really good. He's only 0.1 away from him. So that's what you want to do. So minimize airtime at the start. And uh, Urix had a really good starting line there as well. But try to uh, just get as much speed in the corners as possible. Don't overdrift. Don't drift too late as well. Yeah. And also here you can... Um, you really... Can try to hold fifth gear, which is not needed, but it makes things easier. And then here you can also tap brake to get a good line. Then here full steer to the left, cancel the slide if you want to, of course, if you want to, and then pray in the ending. Like for the ending, I didn't find a consistent approach. It looked quite hard, but you will figure it out if you play this map for a bit. I think uh, not everyone would struggle as much as I do. Let's go to 22. 22 is the next map. Bobsleigh map. Very nice map. Still right at the start. 
to get into the bobsleigh accordingly. Take every kilometer possible. Get a smooth entry there as well. Tap to the left just beforehand. Don't get any bump there. It's a good line there. Oh, this one was tricky, but we're going to talk about that in a second. Get the gear. And do that one smooth. Zack. And now everything will snowball his way into the finish. Because here you have free will attached. And I played this map for a bit. I think I got top 300 or something. Like after 5 minutes. So this map is also not too hard. One thing that you should have in mind is that... Um, new bobsleigh of course. Um, it is not that punishing. In my opinion if you steer to the right or left. It felt better. Uh, but really all what's important here are the approaches. If there's any wiggles, I have seen like one or two wiggles that you could maybe do, be my guest. But what is really important is that you just maintain the speed and get a good entry into every bobsleigh corner. That is just really important. So what they, what are they doing at the start? Why do they already tap to the right? Yeah, they tap to the right because there's a left turn coming up and you want to enter the bobsleigh like that. If they didn't tap to the right, they would have just fly, flown out of the map. Fly flew flown uh, whatever um so then you just tap to the left there again to get as high as possible on here it requires some practice you will probably fail in the first couple of attempts and if you figured this one out you then want to get an entry into this one here in order to get uh get a very good approach in this corner here as well and uh, just get it get smooth around those bobsleigh corners yeah don't get air time don't get anything Speed is just key. Then here you can slide if you oversteer. You can slide because you still have icy tires. Get a good entry here as well. Don't go too far up. Because if you go too far up, your car will land up somewhere here. You need a good approach into that one as well. And just go with the flow now. In the ending. Just uh, not really too hard to nail the apexes. Maybe here. Because uh, there's a checkpoint place. So there's one uh, bobsleigh part that is uh, getting skipped. But what is very important here is that you that you go very far to the right. Because you cannot really take this left turn. You cannot really take this left turn here because you have icy tires. And if you have icy tires now in full steer or just steer a little bit or like too much, you will slide out. So that's why you want to take this left turn as late as possible. So that's why they are so far on the right side. If you're too far inside, you have to oversteer. So you want to go very smooth. And then already steer to the right here, very smooth as well, to not uh, to not set out. Then the effect is gone again, get a good entry here, you can go quite far from the right, that's what I n did not do. So I can probably improve a lot again. And uh, there you go, I think the AT on this map wasn't too hard, on 22, let me quickly check. Was a 47.6, no. So it wasn't that hard, so I think the only important thing here is that you just get the speed at the start, Nail the approaches briefly and don't slide in the freewheel section. Yeah, I mean, I think you can slide, but then it would be very hard to control. But you want to be very far on the right here. Not too far, else you will crash. But it requires some practice. Yeah, if you get it, you will figure it out. But be very careful with that. Try to control the car. Even though it seems like not that easy, you can definitely make it happen. Yeah, so uh, there you go. So just have a bit to the right and then go to the left. And you are good with that. So approaches are key. Okay, next map. Map number 23. Select all, suck, confirm, edit. So three more maps. Intel Mental Strider, by the way. This is probably my least uh, played map. Not sure how much I can tell about this one. So Ice Wiggles at the start. Again, jumping into the bobsleigh like this. That you uh, instantly get the speed out of that. And also the gear. Don't oversee the dirt. I think, yeah, here you can do a no set again. And then a drift here. Looks like a TMGL map, actually. I think there was an ending that was uh, quite cool on this map. I'll go very early with the reset to get a good approach there as well. Okay, okay. 
And uh, then another slalom part. I think Arnaldi did a no slide here, if I recall it correctly. Or like... Ah, you can hit the dings booms there. True. You can hit the dings booms. Yeah, try it again, Chris. Okay, so this map. I cannot really tell too much about, talk too much about this map. Because it's quite... Like, just the racing lines that are important here. Not really too many tricks. Maybe the no slide and the ending. But other than that, not really. So you have this part, you want to be very far on the right side. Go diagonal into the bobsleigh. Stay a bit to the right beforehand to get as little of an angle as possible to get speed out of the bobsleigh. Important. Check mark. Get up into thirds. Now important, you still have uh, icy tires here. So you don't want to oversteer this section. You want to go with the flow. You want to get your car or let your car get grip again. So you want to over angle a little bit, but not too much. Yeah? And then go around the turn, go close to the checkpoints, and then here, get up into, uh, get up into, or get down into fourth again, and then do a no side. Let's see what Kanadi actually did. I'm gonna see that. Yeah, Kanadi also lost the game. Quite late uh, no side, actually. But Kanadi gives us a very good POV. Then a drift. Not too much to say about, the, other than, other than you have to go close around those corners. What is this section? Ganadi actually did this one not that good. You can see he loses a lot of speed because he has to oversee on this corner. So that's maybe one mistake that you can already diminish by just going a bit more to the right there. Let's follow Scrappy. You see how far Scrappy is on the right side and how inside he goes there and how much more speed than Ganadi he has. Very, very um, well done here from Scrappy. Then go around here. This can be hard to control as well as plastic. But just don't oversteer too much and then uh, the ending go close to the freeway block and you can go for a no side it's quite hard though to do but if you're a wheel abuser you can go for that one but just be careful with the ending but uh, the 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 clip here in the end seems quite good because you have plastic and you just minimize time spent in water and you hit the uh, red booster quite early so that's how you do that map pretty nice map though Hardly played it, even though it's cool. So we have uh, two more maps. Confirm, edit. Let's make this thing happening in um, two hours. So next map, we have a no side here at the start and then also already a gear. And then another no side here. I played this map a bit. I did, um, I did this no slide. I didn't do the next one, though. I think that's where I maybe also lost a lot of time. Also, my approach it was quite bad. Also, this guy didn't do the no slide, okay? The quantum slide, bad chest. I think there's another one here as well. Like, in the uphill. Yeah. Okay, so start. The no side gives you like 0.1, 2.2 of a second, so not too much. So you have to go over the uh, penalty surface. And then you can play a bit with, with your uh, accelerator. Because if you too fast, you just slide, slide out. And you want to gear up when you can afford to be straight again. So that's really important thing to consider. And here, another no slide. Very, very cool to do. Not that hard, actually. And also make sure to approach this turn very wide. If you're too in, like this is a blind turn. If you're too inside here, you would just bump. And also if you're too inside and make the turn, you're just in the checkpoint. Yeah, so that's why you want to go outside in that corner. And just go with the flow. Just SD, SD, SD. What I did, I went here for the left approach. The right approach is way better now that I see that. So you have like this tree and you go through that and you get like... Or like you go in between tree and... Uh, the, um, the limitation of the of the roads and just uh, go it or just take it as a turn then you can go for an S like for for a no slide there I didn't go for that one you still have a lot of speed so you have to release and then just clear the turn nicely no slide at the end is not required either to obtain a team medal I also didn't do that in my run 
Uh, but what is the what is the important factor on this map? I think it's really about the start. You can oversee this one here, of course. Just don't crash. Make sure to get gear 4 before going into this turn. Hold it here as well. And really make sure to approach this turn very far from the left. Don't go to inside. Don't go to inside and be very hesitant. This line really helps you as well. Can be quite tricky to nail, but I think if you then get it, it's important. And also make sure to release a little bit. If you're too fast, make sure to release a little bit to make a smooth entry into the slope. So that's the map. Also make sure to only bounce once. But AT Metal is quite good here to obtain. Okay, map 24 also in the books. I think this one is uh, quite simple. And let's go to the last map and then we're going to jump into some matchmaking. There you go. And hello, uh, Ali. What's up, mates? 25. Also had a quite a rough AT medal. Let's go with... Uh, Manta. Manta Rochen. Already a tricky start here. Not really the biggest fan of the start. But Manta had it quite good. So you have uh, two really awkward sections on this map. This was the first one and the... No, the second one and the first one was at the start. Also, this drift is quite awkward, to be honest. Ending is straightforward, to be honest. Just need to know where to go, so I'm just gonna skip this one for now. Because it just, you know, just go in, in that thing and you just... Go for the lower finish. Okay, let's go into the map. This is the this is the run here. So here, important. Go tight to the checkpoint. Wow. And uh, on the other hand, try to like have a wide approach. Go tight. That you don't oversee on the plastic. Now important that you set up for this turn here as well. If you're too far on the right, if you're too angled, you jump. You will jump here. You don't want to jump. You want to jump into the drift, but you would be too fast. Then here, you can either do this turn full speed or not. I tap brake and um, then go for this section as well. You can also go on the right side here. You don't need to go for this approach. What's really important here is to hold the fourth gear and try to um, just carefully go through that one. Then here you oversteer to get as much speed as possible and go very close here to the um, light post. But also now the first awkward part comes into play, the free wheel section. You want to take it as a bowl again, so as a wall right. You don't want to get, or you hardly want to get any airtime. Get a smooth transition. Don't oversteer, because drifting means in freewheel losing speed, pressure speed. So try to carefully steer and get as much speed as possible. Then you will gear up into fifth gear just before the jump. The second awkward thing comes into play now. You're on plastic and you drive on plastic again after that. The problem now here is that you will gear down. Suck. You lose the gear here. You see it here. Uh, Manta lost the gear. So this turn, with that, you have to take the turn like this. It is very awkward to do. So tap, 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 tap. Yeah? But also get around this turn here. Get around this turn and make this very awkwardly placed drop down. This is actually a very good map because the mapper was surely aware what uh, he was building. So I'm uh, I'm really a fan of this, uh, of this uh, intentionally placed gear down. Um, it's just so much more in-depth than you think. This drift here, maybe the third awkward thing, or the, the awkward thing number three. Repetitive slide, not easy to do, requires some practice. You can also go for two slides, but then I think you need to Neo the other turn. But uh, it is not that easy. And then ending, of course, as follows. Just don't oversteer. Go for the lower finish, and that is fine. So here, important again. Like, you can go for a different line, but the most optimal line is to, like, just use every space or, like, everything possible. You can see Manta did it super well. Like, uh, they jumped so far to the left and then oversteered so much to the right in order to hold gear 4 and get such a narrow approach. Look at the speed. Like, speed doesn't really matter too much, but that already gave them a head start into this, uh, into this round. Then here, of course, don't minimize steering. Also in the exit. You don't wanna you don't wanna be greedy. That's what I also did in my PB. And fully steer right here if you um 
if you are here. Just let the let the turn die naturally in this case. That's important. That's very, very important to do. Then here, do it smooth. And you have it. So that's um, that's the campaign. I think this campaign is a quite good one. There's some very disappointing maps. Um, in my opinion. I think uh, map 12 is probably one of the or the worst campaign map ever to be to have existed. 04 has its place, yes, 08 is okay. But uh, I also think that uh, what was it? 18 should not be there if 20 is there. So 18 should have been swapped and also 12. 12 and 18, if they would have been removed, this would be a very good campaign. Or this was a very good campaign. Alright, but let's uh, 